This is problem number 10 from section 1.2. In this problem it says, for the given equations, find f of g of x and g of f of x, and the domain of each. So they give you f of x, they give you g of x, and they want you to find f of g of x. f of g of x I know is f of g of x, which is equal to f with an input of g of x, which is the root x. So now I take the root x and I plug it in for the x value of f, which is 5 root x plus 3. And this is what f of g of x is. Now let's do g of f of x. Well, when I do g of f of x, I get a g with an input of f of x, and f of x is 5x plus 3 that I'm going to plug into the g function for x, so that's going to be root 5x plus 3. So this and this, we got f of g of x here, g of f of x here. Now they want us to find the domain of each. So what's the domain of this function here. Well, the domain is going to be determined by what you can plug into the radical. Well, the smallest number I can plug into any radical is zero because I can't plug in negative numbers. So zero to infinity is the domain for the top function. For the bottom function, I have a radical as well. The difference is inside the radical, I don't just have x, I have 5x plus 3. So now I have to take the inside and set it greater than or equal to 0 because I know the inside, the smallest number I can get on the inside of a radical is 0. So I need to figure out what number, what's the smallest number that will give me that. I subtract the 3 over, I get 5x greater than or equal to negative 3. Divide by 5, and x has to be greater than or equal to negative 3 fifths. So negative 3 fifths is the smallest x value for our domain that we can use. So we're going to say negative 3 fifths to infinity for the domain value there. And that's how you do f of g of x and g of f of x.